Hello, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Rahul Varda, and I work here at the Center for Policy Research. Uh, thank you, everyone, for coming here on Friday afternoon. And all, uh, friends who have joined us on Zoom, uh, one request to people who are on Zoom, if you are not at any point able to hear us, just do let us know, and we'll uh, figure out a way to correct for those technical difficulties. Uh, First, my apologies uh, uh, for starting late, uh, but also that uh, Professor Abhay Kumar has not been able to uh, join us as he got an urgent meeting with higher authorities. So he said, uh, uh, you know, this won't be possible for him, but we wanted to anyway continue uh, with our series, How India Votes. This is 12th conversation in the series. Uh, and every uh, sort of like, discussion is trying to focus on one single theme and trying to understand how these issues impact Indian voters and shape uh, election outcomes. But the idea is not just to focus on elections only, but to use this exercise to get a peek into social and political behavior of uh, Indian citizens. And we are very fortunate to have uh, Professor Badri Narayan with us. Uh, uh, Professor Badri Narayan is a social historian, uh, he's director of uh, Govind Ballab Pant Institute of Social Sciences, which is based in Allahabad. Uh, he has written multiple books. I can name uh, some of them. The first book, uh, Women, Heroes and Dalit Assertion in North India. Uh, there's another book on Dalit public in North India. Uh, he was one of the few people who could actually see the rise of uh, Hindutva in, 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 in the period when BJP was out of power and he wrote a book, if I remember correctly, uh, Fascinating Hindutva that came out in 2008. Uh, and after that, he wrote a book on Kanshi Ram. Very recently, he wrote a book on uh, uh, the Republic of Hindutva. But that's not all uh, 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 to Professor Narayan. He's also a very acclaimed poet. And I don't know if many of you know, he has written multiple uh, uh, sort of like uh, compilation of Hindi poems. And one of his poems was in uh, this OTT series, uh, The Heart. Uh, so I think the title track is, is his uh, poem, The, the Heart is, is where you have Sonakshi Sinha. So thank you, Professor Narayan, for uh, coming to uh, Center for Policy Research and uh, joining us on uh, this very important sort of conversation. And especially now that uh, in two weeks, uh, we are going to have uh, inauguration of Ram Temple in Ayodhya, and there is a lot of chatter and conversation happening around uh, that topic. Uh, what I want you to sort of like, uh, you know, perhaps in your opening remarks, provide us a glimpse into what is the political common sense understanding of religion and culture that shapes uh, people's perspective on how they are going to vote. Of course, there is an academic understanding of there is Hindutva or, you know, uh, uh, for Muslims, uh, there has always been this uh, conversation that uh, Muslim religious leaders play a very, very vital role in shaping communities' voting behavior. But how do common people perceive religion and religious issues? And what is the difference between religion and culture in terms of political common sense? Thank you, uh, Rahul and, and uh, Sipia. I'm I'm very obliged to you that uh, are you able to listen to me? Uh, for to provide this opportunity to, uh, to discuss about these issues, and it's a very right time uh, to discuss such issues. And uh, you know, uh, first of all, religion and culture is two different domains for us. For public, for common public, especially those who are less in villages, and in what we call happy uh, literate public, whatever, for them, religion and culture has no, uh, two, they are not two different domains. Uh, religion uh, is a, uh, the way they live life, and that is their culture. Uh, what is secular, what is non-secular, what is communal, what is non-communal, in that they don't have that kind of any segregation or any separation. It's a very mix. For them, religion, uh, we see religion as a very, as a, 
Sampitra, no? uh, you can come and bite us. For them, religion is uh, like Jhula, which is called Jhulte. Jhula means Vajpan se leke mirtu tak. No, uh, they, uh, they, their entire everyday life is surrounded by the religious rituals. And, and those rituals always create an active memory in their uh, mind. And uh, that active memory uh, always uh, lives with them. So religion, unke saath, it always lives with them. Culture, of course, there are culture, shadi, viva, no culture, cultural values, ideology, culture, ideals, cultural, real. There are a lot of definition which we have. But for them, uh, religion is a threat. Ab usko, we call religion, unke liye wo even dharm, uh, it's very difficult for them to define dharm. What is dharm for them? That is their way of life. No? We say dharm, we say religion. For them, dharm is there, dharm word is there, but not the way we define dharm. For them, dharm is their everyday life. Dharm, bahut sare log dharm ko jaanti bhi nahi ke dharm hai, but they live in that culture. Subha bhajan karenge, shaam bhajan karenge, puja karenge, khani ke pehle, naayenge. This part of their life. Uh, you can say this is the uh, everyday life of the Savarn people. In, or uh, you can say, no, Dalit me to nahi hai, Dalit me to. How you are saying that this is the everyday life of the uh, Indian public? Even among Dalits, you know, you can find the similar kind of pattern of uh, living the life. Ye ho sakta hai ki, there you can find Kabir Panthi songs or Ravidasi songs. There you can find Kabir Panthi ritual, uh, Ravidasi ritual. Satnarani, Shivnarani ritual. But here you can find a different kind of Sanatini ritual or Ramayanic ritual or Mahabharati ritual. Kuch bhi kai sakte ha, whatever you can say. But in, in both the domain, you can find the presence of religious, what we, we say religious, uh, rituals, culture, songs, traditions, myths. Society can't live without myths without fiction, without religion. Society uh, always lives uh, with a myth and fiction, and that is a very central part of the uh, construction of religion. When I fiction, I am not saying in a negative term, and myths I am not saying in a negative term, I am saying in a positive term. Because, uh, I will not take in another side, otherwise I will talk about the narrative and the story, and I'll, I'll bring it on the political issue. So that's their uh, common sense. And, and that, uh, though that domain is very central in the existential reality of Indian public. It's a part of existence. Without that, uh, those, that cultural content or religious content, you can't imagine Indian people. But when we put it, uh, the people who are in a, uh, cities or university or academics, we analyze as a uh, what we call this a doctor, a hand alag or a kalag or kaan alag, is kalag treatment, us kalag treatment. But they, for them, it's all creates uh, common sense, and in that common sense, religion plays very important role uh, because they think in that way. You know, every uh, they take decision in and. Uh, uh, based on the Muhavras, based on the Kahawat, based on the, uh, the Bhajan ke jo narratives, hai. Kabir helps them to, to take decisions. Uh, kya karna hai? Bete ko paisa dena hai to kitna dena hai? Nahi dena hai? Uh, tiyad karna hai? Kitna ka, kyo nahi karna hai tiyad? So that kind of entire, uh, the, the ethos of the life, they get from there. So that creates common sense, that creates everyday uh, existential meaning of, this, of, the, of the Indian public. Uh, uh, you can find a different, maybe a bit different. So, uh, here, uh, politics, that's another story. Uh, how politics is politics and why interested in that. So, politics. 
politics uh, for me what is politics politics is mobilizing public simple so states going to mobilize public you have to enter in their domain in their uh, memory their ways of thinking their existential uh, 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 meaning of the of the politics no you have to enter in that and to uh, uh, be, to enter in that you have to take a decision ko lekar ki bhashan ko lekar jo diction ko lekar wahan jayenge diction diction and you have to recreate your diction according to their uh, life universe according to their uh, the common sensical perspective so you have to drastically change yourself and uh, then you can create a connect between your masses and their masses and the politi the political party or politician uh, who are very good to understand this cultural make the indian they can yeah, succeed in the politics ab sawal hi uthta hai ki wo sahi ki ab aap kaise the ki ki aap keh rahe hain 7 saal to bina samjhe hue politics ki and party ji ki तो आप कैसे कह रहे हैं कि साल टू हम एक होता एक्सपीरियंस डेमोक्रेसी ये है politics uh, of development social welfare politics of empowerment no whatever that's why that politics succeeded but even then in that politics also there was a uh, process of entering with the common people mind mm. by various ways religion is one way culture is one way there are other and uh, uh, through those ways uh, those like nehru like indira like chandrashekhar by their their the people was for months now after uh, 2010 i used to say this is the time of uh, second phase of new liberal time and this second phase of new liberal time is the time of first phase of second phase is the time of dilution of identity dilution of identity ko ek badi language mein one of the language and it's stress inter karta hai uh अब हम ये कहते हैं कि हु इज इन दिस टाइमिंग पॉलिटिकल मानस सेंस इस पॉलिटिकल सेंस क्रिएटेड बाय रीजन एंड पेट ऐसे कल्चर और आप कहते हैं भाई आप तो कहते हो कल्चर यहां तो चल रहा है यहां तो सोशल वेलफेयर चल रहा है एंड बीजेपी का इंटायर कैंपेन है अभी 90% 70% कैंपेन इज तो आपका क्या मतलब है रिलीजन का तो कोई मतलब ही नहीं है सेवेंटी परसेंट तो बेनिफिशियरीज चलेगा नो मतलब है बेनिफिशियरी देयर एंड आल्सो हिंदुत्व इज देयर मींस रिलीजियस कॉन्सियसनेस इज देयर और एक इंटरेस्टिंग डिबेट हैपेंड विद पीपी टॉमसन एंड आर एस शर्मा नो इज इन वन ऑफ द हिस्ट्री कॉगस एंड आर एस शर्मा टोल्ड विदाउट विदाउट इकोनॉमिक्स Uh, no history. So, E. P. Thompson told, "Without culture, no economics, and without economics, no history." So, culture. Uh, even then, you are getting money, you are getting pension, you are getting all the benefits. You are turning at beneficiary. You have your cultural uh, commons and cultural marks, and those who. Or touch that culture, that part of the 
beginning of development, many young people difficulty was to appear more powerfully meanings and uh, multiple symbolic meanings. All multiple symbolic meanings uh, extract one single message and that message for them. Thank you. But I, I let you sort of like on what at least one point, which is you're saying that uh, the expectation was that many of these things, especially from the modernization theory, the expectation was that with economic development, certain issues which are around region, culture, primordial identities, they are going to go down. In fact, what the size of these identities in India, especially post 1990s with liberation, higher growth rate, and what you are saying that let's divide post 19 uh, phases. Think of first phase assertion because actually we saw rise of Bhagavad party and rise of many backward caste parties. So first phase was assertion of those caste identities. And now in the second phase, what seems to be happening is that many of these uh, into larger religious identity. And this is where in your view, and this is what at least you pointed out in Republic of Hindutva, DJP succeeded in providing some of those resources which many of these communities were looking for. So my first question to you would be, can you sort of like elaborate uh, uh, on that a little bit more on what kind of resources DJP provided to different groups to be able to bring them into uh, their fold? Uh, what are those tangible sort of like uh, uh, benefits. For example, I remember when we had your book discussion, you pointed out that in Bundelkhand, uh, the BGP affiliate organizations built temples for some of the lower uh, Dalit communities, and that was one of the cultural resources. Related to that is uh, when you are talking about this sort of like term, Jan Manas or ma Manas, what are the demands or expectations by voters? Uh, because a lot of our conversation happens you know, that voters, of course, think about economy, joblessness, um, unemployment, but they might also be thinking about these cultural resources. So what are their demands and expectations from parties and politicians about uh, uh, Very rightly, you have uh, uh, posed the problem. Uh, actually, uh, See, the, when I say this is the second phase of neoliberal time, you know, first phase was the uh, time of assertion of identity. Uh, why assertion of identity? Uh, because when you get exposed to the various kinds of information, the uh, entire world is open for you. But you are not saying that this world is for me, but you know that this is the world. And then your identity starts uh, immerse. No, I should also. Uh, I am this. I am that. I am this. I am that. Because who am I? This questions always travel with us. Answer you got from the neoliberal exposure. A neoliberal exposure, exposure of communication, uh, ITs, telephone, which uh, Rajiv Gandhi uh, period. Mm -hmm. Or we were nursing around and implemented new liberal economy. Then many things came to us. So uh, we got so nice. You, you see the all the emergence of identity movements in the place. A Dalit movement, uh, women movement, even tribal movement in a in a not very vocal ways, but it started appearing in that period. Various kinds of caste identities primordial identity based identities emerged in that period. Then what happened after 14 or 20s? Because you got an identity, but what after identity? Hmm. That question started emerging. It means I, uh, what uh, many people say that this is the age of aspiration. Because identity uh, gave you capacity to think about yourself. Who, who are you? And slowly, due to various regions, 
uh, a capacity to aspire emerged among yourself. And when capacity to aspire emerged, you want things, you want success, you want job, you want to go America, you want to go Vishnu Devi, no? you want many things to exa, not mm. ye to na mile. Ni, you want everything together. So that is the two conditions. If you want many things, you can't be singular. You have to be multiple. So a Dalit boy today is not merely a a OBC boy is not is today is not only OBC. He also want to go America. He also want to go Vaishno uh, Devi to get aspiration like that. We have to be able to Why not? Because we have to be able to do that. Me also. So if you have to become many, so our identity movement can't be singular. And that will dilute. And that dilution process again started because explosion of aspirations has been immersed among ourselves, in ourselves. So uh, uh, that's why we used to say, we used to say that this is the OBC reservation of the reservation politics of Congress. Ki. Hmm. It is going, not going to help. We used to say that this is the OBC reservation of the But it was like that this is a very capital. Hai. And we will build up our politics on this. So uh, that's why this is second phase of. So it's some anything which is singular can't succeed. You have to be multiple, and BJP is very good in that uh, direction. Modi bhi hai. Modi uh, trust value hai Modi. Hindutva bhi hai. Beneficiary bhi hai. Uh, aspirations bhi hai. Politics for future be here. Uh, uh, you know, it's very interesting that I will talk about this politics of future discourse. Mm -hmm. I last talk about it. First of all, I Rahul has asked me what are the resources BJP has and uh, what resources are based on they are building their politics. So, so resources, mm -hmm. asp understanding aspirations and responding to the aspiration of the people. Or us aspiration may religion and mobility, economic mobility. Dono saat saat hai. Both are not separate to each other. Religious religion, not only puja path, karm kant, uh, uh, abhishwas, what we say, uske rup mein nahi. Religion, I am talking about marginal community basically. Mm -hmm. For them, religion is a uh, source of dignity. Uh, religion is a symbolic source of gaining dignity. And also religion is a uh, meaning of a space. They have a space. If they have a religious identity, they have a space in society. If they don't have religious identity, they don't have a space in society. I tell you a very interesting two, three case which will uh, explain you to how BJP is approaching uh, the the religion or religious common sense of the public. Uh, uh, one is uh, if you go, ये भी जो रामजन भूमि complex बन रहा है, इसमें सबरी का temple भी बन रहा है, जेठायु का temple भी बन रहा है, इसमें हनुमान का temple भी बन रहा है. Not only Ram, we are focusing on Ram. Media is focusing on Ram, but it's a complex of many heroes of Ramayana. What Sabri means? Ab main uske liye aapko ek kahani mile chalta hu. There is a village near Banaras. The name of the village is Jayapura. Jayapura village is an adopted village by PM Modi under PM uh, uh, MP Lacks. MP uh, village schemes. If you go in that village, uh, they have made ye 15 saal pehle ban chuka hai. And I am telling this story since 15 since 15 years. This purani story ho gayi hai, but I am telling it again. So, us, uh, make Atal Nagar. Bana hai, Atal Nagar. Atal Nagar was earlier uh, is a basti of Mushars. Mushars is a most marginal Dalit community, right? Because Mushar ki basti ko, they have made Atal Nagar. It's a very new, it's like that Shahar ka koi muhalla ho, you know, ADA ka koi muhalla ho, ya DDA ka koi muhalla ho, like that. 
पूरा वही वो सोलर लाइट भी होगा बल्ब जल रहे होंगे पक्के की सड़क है वहां पे एंड देर इज ए स्मॉल टेम्पल देर टेम्पल ऑफ सबरी एंड विथ शिवा शिवा एंड सबरी टॉक टू दो पीपुल हम लोग जाते रहते हैं उस गांव में तो वो उनने बोला कि देखिए भैया इधर पचास कोस में हम लोगों के पास कोई मंदिर नहीं था आज तक सबरी का कोई मंदिर इधर पचास कोस में नहीं था पहली बार मोदी जी ने हम लोगों को सबरी का ये मंदिर दिया है और अगर आप समझिए कि मेल, मेला लगता है वहां पचासो हजार लोग आते हैं वहां पे दर्शन कर एकदम छोटा सा टेम्पल है इतना बड़ा तो सबरी जैसे बिकॉज दे लिंक दम सेल विद सबरी मुसहस कहते हैं हम सबरी के वंशज हैं सबरी वहां है और सबरी अयोध्या राम टेम्पल कॉम्प्लेक्स में सबरी है नाउ यू कैन सी द सोशल बेस ऑफ रिलीजियस पॉलिटिक्स और रिलीजियस पॉलिटिक्स ना भी कहें तो रिलीजियस क्रिएटिंग रिलीजियस स्पेयर अगर और सब ये पॉलिटिकल लैंग्वेज में कहना चाहें तो सबरी इज देयर तो सबरी हियर हैज टू मीनिंग वन इज approaching the identity of the most marginal dalit communities like mushars or not only mushars many tribal communities link themselves with the sabri not only mushars gond or rao and thal because sabri they see the sabri is tribal was tribal women jatayu again a, a tribal clan which links themselves with the the totems name of the jatayu तो हम लोगों के लिए जो चाय हुए कहानी का हिस्सा है बट जो चाय है सोशल बेस तो एवरी सिंबल सब्सटेंशियल एवरी सिंबल है रियल एंड दैट रियल है सोशल बेस तो सेकंड इज दो एग्जांपल हम लोगों ने बीएसपी के सारे ऑफिस का स्टडी किया था इन सारे ऑफिस में वेन एवर वी विजिटेड वी फाउंड there was a person like me like uh, rahul no koi kurta pajama nahi pant shirt pehna hua dhaggi bandhe hue tuk lagate hue paan khate hue and people are coming and touching their feet they were saying aashirwad story of bsp offices in uttar pradesh hum log ek ek office mein gaye kisi ko nahi choda jitne office hain सब जगह सिमिलर स्टोरी सिमिलर कल्चर तो यू कैन इंडरस्टैंड दिस सेकेंडली और तिलक लगाया हुआ और पान खाता हो पार्ट ऑफ स्टोरी प्लॉट विच वी नीड टू फोकस ये वही है जो कि और जगह आप देखते हैं सेकेंडली uh, जैसे जो हम लोग जो हमने किताब में जिक्र किया है बुदेलखंड और बघेलखंड का जो मध्य प्रदेश का एरिया है वो सब में हम लोगों ने फील्ड वर्क किया था एंड वहाँ क्या हुआ कि ट्राइबल एरिया से लोग दे आर कमिंग आउट फ्रॉम द ट्राइबल जोन्स एंड मेकिंग देयर हैबिट देयर बस्तीज अराउंड हाईवेज नाउ हाईवेज आर रिवॉल्विंग कंस्ट्रक्टेड तो किनारे किनारे बहुत सारी नई बस्तियां थोड़ी दूर पे बस शुरू हो गई हैं एंड इन केम विथ नॉट ओनली पीपल ट्रैवल बट डीटी आल्सो ट्रैवल दे केम विथ देयर डीटीज दे ब्रॉड देयर डीटीज पुट द डीटीज अंडर द ट्री ऑफ पीपल और नीम और आके और सब सिंदूर वगैरह नो दे हैव नाउ दे हैव एस्पिरेशन दैट बगल के बस्ती में शिव जी का इतना बड़ा टेंपल है तो हमारे यहाँ भी हमारी जो अगरिया देवी अगारा देवी सो मेनी देवीज मोस्टली डीटीज देवीज देखें देर देर आई कॉन्स टेंपल चाहिए ये एस्पिरेशन अभी की बात नहीं हो रही आई की बात नहीं हो रही टेंपल चाहिए ठीक है देवी जी का तो भी चाहिए पेंशन का तो भी चाहिए मोदी जी का पैसा क्या है करेंगे हम बट टेम्पल चाहिए टेम्पल टू देम उनके पास अभी इतना पैसा तो है नहीं टेम्पल बना पाए भी नहीं कर 
लोकल आर एस एस के हम लोग चंदा कलेक्ट करेंगे कलेक्ट करके आपके टेम्पल को बनाएंगे तो लोक, लोकल एस्पिरेशन फॉर बिल्डिंग और कंस्ट्रक्टिंग टेम्पल सो टेम्पल इज नॉट ओनली नॉट ओनली इम्पोर्टेंट इन इन अयोध्या ऑल्सो इम्पोर्टेंट इन दोज वेलेज एंड टेम्पल हैज डिफरेंट मीनिंग फॉर लोक दोज कॉम्युनिटी नॉट लाइक अस हमारे लिए तो मंदिर बस धर्म का एक सिंबल है बट फॉर देम इट्स ऑल्सो स्पीस वेयर दे कैन सीट वेयर दे कैन डिस्कस विवाह दुख सुख चंदा लोन रीन पैसा बिकॉज घरों में स्पेस नहीं है तो जो लोग आते थे कि भाई हमारा हमारे आइकॉन के नाम से कितना बड़ा पार्क बन गया है राजधानी के बीच में नो तो हैविंग ए सेंस ऑफ स्पेस इन द इन द सेंटर ऑफ द कैपिटल ऑफ लखनऊ दैट इज अज इम्पावरमेंट फॉर दलित कम्युनिटी दोज का तो ये सारे बहुत सारे कॉन्फ़िगरेशन हैं हम लोग बहुत रिलीजन को मोनोलिथिक uh, वे में देखते हैं एंड रिलीजन को बहुत हम लोग लाइक सांप की तरह देखते हैं नो बट इट हैज वेरी डीपर मीनिंग इन सोसाइटी अब आप कह सकते हैं ये तो बड़ा खराब है ऐसा होने चाहिए आपको तो साइंटिफिक आपको रेशनल होना है कोई बात नहीं होता है तो मेरा कहना है कि समाज का अपना फिगर होता है एंड वो सेंस paints one kind of picture about how aspirations of uh, hindu community and largely sort of like uh, marginalized hindu community especially about religion what you are calling uh, as think uh, some may also say this is just their way of trying to get the larger sort of like religion uh, 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 i to be but on the same time and you must have noticed this on the theme what 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 might be happening is that is this just a way of like getting a temple of my own god or in some ways it might be creating certain problem from for other religions and especially muslims right is it also a phase of what some have described a uh, hindu resurgence and in, in that sense uh, uh, you know the uh muslim community is feeling under stress uh and that for so so how would religion what i my question to you is how was this issue of religion and culture play out for muslims uh going forward uh, are we going to see some kind of counter uh, uh sort of mobilization or movement or are we going to see a kind of uh, a fate a comply acceptance among uh muslims that you know given this kind of majoritarian politics that hindus hinduism is undergoing we don't have a say in the system and what would that say about sort of like democratic trajectory of india uh, uh from the political common sense not from the academic debate we keep having what do you understand from your question there are uh, in india it's very difficult to reply any question because any question has multiple layers yes like uh, uh, like for marginals huh. it's just entering in that one they have not and uh, no one should be uh, should be uh, take a things ko ki darna nahi darne ki zarurat nahi hai chahe muslim ho chahe 
चाहे जैन हो चाहे बौद्ध हो चाहे माइनॉरिटीज हो बिकॉज अभी तो उनके पास कुछ था ही नहीं फर्स्ट टाइम दे आर गेटिंग देर स्मॉल स्मॉल टेम्पल्स उन शुड नॉट बी फेयरफुल और एफर्ट फ्रॉम दिस काइंड ऑफ कम्युनिटी अगर आप होते हैं इसका मतलब योर जो जो रिलीजियस आइडेंटिटी है मोर एग्रेसिव देन अदर्स दैट्स व्हाई यू आर बिकमिंग सो फेयरफुल एफर्ट फ्रॉम दिस काइंड ऑफ इमर्जेंस ऑफ द बिकॉज अभी तो दस दस कोर्स में कोई मंदिर नहीं है उनका तो इन दैट वे इट्स इंटरिंग इन दैट ओके तो बट यू आर वेरी राइट कि राम जन्मभूमि टेम्पल और काशी का जो आप ट्रेडिशन ग्लोरी ग्लोरी और और रिकॉन्स्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द काशी एंड रिकॉन्स्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द मे बी मथुरा टूमोरो और मे बी बुद्धिस्ट स्पेसेस लाइक कपिल वस्तु कुशीनगर तो ये तो होगा ये होगा तो आपको लगेगा कि ये हमें तो इनसिक्योर बना रहा है बिकॉज लेकिन यू कांट स्टॉप इट बिकॉज अगेन इट्स प्रोसेस ऑफ नॉट मोदी एंड बीजेपी इट्स प्रोसेस ऑफ न्यू लिबरल टाइम न्यू लिबरल टाइम हैज टू गो इन दिलेक्शन नॉट ओनली देयर इवन कल अजमेर शरीफ का भी रिकॉन्स्ट्रक्शन हो सकता है इफ मुस्लिम अलाउ बट मुस्लिम पता नहीं अलाउ करेंगे कि नहीं करेंगे क्योंकि जो पूरा मूव है towards टूरिज्म बिकॉज ये सेकेंड जो फेज है न्यू लिबरल टाइम का विच इज अबाउट ग्लोरिफिकेशन ऑफ रिलीजियस नहीं मैं उसको ऐसे कह रहा हूँ सेकेंड फेज ऑफ न्यू लिबरल टाइम इज एज ए टाइम ऑफ मूवमेंट ओके नो नाउ यू हैव स्मॉल स्मॉल मनी या ज्यादा मनी एन यू वॉन्ट टू गो मेनी प्लेसेस तो पहले आप पेरिस जाते थे वाली जाते थे इफ यू आर गोइंग टू गिव यू द सेम फीलिंग इन काशी इन अयोध्या तो यू विल गेट टू मीनिंग फ्रॉम टूरिस्ट टूरिस्ट ट्रेवल वन इज इंजॉयमेंट सेकेंड इज अपीजिंग योर आइडेंटिटी लुक आई एम हिंदू हमारा इतना बड़ा तो सिमिलरली बुद्धिस्ट स्पेसिस में आप जाएंगे कल हो सकता है जो दरगाह है बड़े उनको भी इस तरह से बिल्डअप कर दिया जाए जहाँ लोग आए लोग बिकॉज इकोनॉमी अब देर इज नो इन दैट वे पोस्ट प्री सेवेंटी और एटी इकोनॉमी जिसमें कि आप फैक्ट्री बनाते थे अब आपको पैसे टूरिज्म से आने हैं अच्छा तो टूरिज्म से आने हैं तो यू आर एक्सप्लोरिंग ईच एंड एवरी कल्चर एंड रिलीजियस स्पेस टू मेक इट ए कम्फर्टेबल मेक इट ए ग्लोरियस and make it a uh, tourist space hmm. to ek to tourism dusra usse grandizing your own identity hmm. aapko acha bhi lagta hai ki dekhiye hum itna hamara kashi itna acha ho gaya hmm. to your hindu identity uh, feel satisfied to ek hi sath aap economy ko uh, address kar rahe hain economic okay. reality ko aur secondly aap religious identity ko address kar rahe hain dono ko aap mix kar rahe hain and that is the peculiarity of the new liberal time secondly is se jo insecurity to hoga hmm. security uh, will emerge in certain community but you know every state because ye state apne aap mein bahut koi bhi autonomous state nahi hai na hmm. it's bounded by new liberal economy hmm. no so it has to tackle also muslim spaces hmm. wahan unko bhi uh, unko behtar banana hoga और मे बी सेकेंड फेज में ये हो अभी नहीं हो सकता है क्योंकि अभी वो ट्रस्ट ही बिल्डअप नहीं हुआ है बिटवीन दिस स्टेट एंड दोज कॉम्युनिटी तो वो ट्रस्ट बिल्डअप होने का प्रोसेस शायद सेकेंड फेज में अभी अभी शुरू हो अगर इफ दिस गवर्नमेंट कम अगेन इन पावर और अगर नहीं भी मान लीजिए कोई भी गवर्नमेंट आए तो उसको इसी इकोनॉमिक लाइन पे चलना है यूपी का जो अभी वन ट्रिलियन इकोनॉमी का जो कंट्रीब्यूशन का वो है कैंपेन है That is entirely based on this tourism economy, either from Kum or from Kashi or from Ayodhya or from. So, ये ये time है which is pushing us to that direction. Okay. लेकिन इस ये time is not bare economic time. Hmm. It also cultural and religious time. It's a mix economy and religious cultural identity. Both are mixed here. Okay. Uh, let me now take some questions uh, from uh, the audience uh, on Zoom and here. so 
I'll merge these two questions and Prakriti, please keep sending uh, me. So I think the core of these questions are that why did other political parties not uh, sort of understood or understand this aspect of aspiration, uh, which you are talking about, especially uh, marginalized sections of uh, Hindu uh, communities. Uh, and the related question is, why did Congress all these years since Indira Gandhi fail to see the hold of religion and culture uh, over marginalized community? Is it just because the secularism narrative or there was something else to it? I think uh uh the he is a political party supposed naturally why why you felt <laughs> but uh, the way uh, as we as an academician we uh, we understand that is really uh, because of the secularism ideology. Hmm. That secularism ideology always try to keep itself away from the religion and they see religion uh, as private sphere, hmm. but unsko religion uh, mm, public sphere se, they always try to escape mm. because of uh, that uh, uh, they uh, ab, ab jo aspirations of marginal community ka, wo to, wo bahut se ye samaj mein aai baat. Actually, this started from okay. BSP because BSP first of all tried to understood this aspirations of the marginal community and BJP picked up from there BJP is a second story of oh, okay. making of the uh, Dalit identities. First story was uh, led by Kanshiram. And all these icons and deities, which are uh, the most uh, politically important nowadays, were we invented. So, so your we are, first book. Yeah, we were invented by Kanshiram. Mm. Mm. And uh, since BSP is not in a position to, to contain its own symbolic capital, mm. BJP is open for other political parties. And BJP is very smart in that. Other parties ki kahani aap ko sunaye, bahut interesting kahani hai. That has happened with me, my experiences. Uh, you know, Rahul Gandhi uh, was campaigning in the Pradesh in 2007 seven election. A huge uh, campaign led by Rahul Gandhi. Or bada aas thi logon ko usse ki shayad diye bada change hota. But he was against Mayawati. No? Entire campaigning was against Mayawati. <laughs> so, uh, they were also inventing, trying to use icons in their political mobilization. So, there was a lot of talk about it, which was the one who was talking about it. So, someone came to me and said, we are going to meet in Kanpur, which is an OBC area. So, what do we do? Which icon do we take? I said, from history, there is a big icon that is a big icon. कोई वहाँ का लोकल मिथ्स हो राजा हो कोई ओबीसी कम्युनिटी का हीरो हो यानी इंसिंट मैं तो हिस्ट्री की बात कर रहा था उन्होंने अच्छा सर ओके सर विल डू दैट अंग्रेजी बोल को चला गया उसके बाद राहुल जी की वो मीटिंग हुई तो उसमें क्या हुआ सैम पित्रोदा को बुला लिया तो सैम पित्रोदा आज एन आईकॉन ऑफ ओब तो वो प्रैक्टिस में आते आते इतनी चेंज हो जाती है तो सैम पित्रोदा क्या ओबीसी के बिकॉज़ सैम पित्रोदा इज इज अ गुरु सैम पित्रोदा नाम ही ऐसा है जिससे वो रिलेट नहीं करेंगे हाँ. उनको कोई वहां का आ, पाल कोई मतलब अपनी कम्युनिटी का कोई आदमी चाहिए ना पहले तो रिलेट करने के लिए दूसरा उनको पता है कॉन्टेंपरेरी कांच भी सिंबल सिंबल सो दैट यू नीड अ सेंस ऑफ एंशिएंटनेस थोड़ा प्राचीनता का बोध चाहिए थोड़ा लॉन्ग टर्म मेमोरी चाहिए एंड तो दैट काइंड ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस पीपल डोंट हैव बिकॉज़ बीजेपी हैज दैट काइंड ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग यू नो नरेंद्र मोदी वंस वेंट इन अ मीटिंग इन उत्तर प्रदेश एंड इन हिज लेक्चर ही मेंशनड अबाउट मरी माई मरी माई इज अ लोकल डीटी अराउंड आवर दावा दे लेक्चर अब कितने लोग मरी माई जानते हैं एंथ्रोपोलॉजिस्ट तो जानते ही नहीं होंगे बड़े-बड़े एंथ्रोपोलॉजिस्ट बट राहुल मोदी वाज नोइंग कहीं से जानते हैं बिकॉज़ दे हैव वेरी स्ट्रांग फीडबैक एजेंसी आरएसएस है उनके साथ तो उनको पता है कि लोकल कल्चर्स क्या हैं लोकल तो दे गेट दैट काइंड ऑफ फीडबैक सो नाउ फॉर डूइंग एनी पॉपुलर पॉलिटिक्स इन द स्फीयर ऑफ यूजिंग रिलीजन एंड कल्चर यू नीड टू हैव वेरी डीप अंडरस्टैंडिंग जिसको काशीराम कहते थे 
माटी पानी की समझ आपको उस माटी पानी की समझ होनी चाहिए माटी पानी की समझ को जरूरी नहीं है कि मोदी जी को सबकी जगह की हो बट मोदी जी को फीडबैक देने वाले लोगों को समझ होगी वो जहां से वो लेते होंगे और वो उनको भी फीडबैक देते होंगे ये कांग्रेस के पास नहीं है ये समाजवादी पार्टी के पास नहीं है ये भी आरजेडी के पास नहीं है ये बी के पास थी बिकॉज बी एस पी एड ए वेरी स्ट्रॉन्डर बेस so let me take some questions uh, from uh, here so partho you had your hand raised up uh, okay no i mean precisely what just what you said right now um, ki aap jo bol rahe hain ki aaj pata nahi samajwadi party ke paas kyun nahi hai aaj congress ke paas ye seat up mein shayad na ho kafi aur jagah mein bhi na ho लेकिन एक जमाना जब था जब कांग्रेस के पास सब कुछ हुआ करती थी कैडर थी लोग थे दल थी कार्यकर्ता थे तो दिस एस्पेक्ट ऑफ एम्बेडेडनेस इन दिस सोसाइटी यू स्पोक ऑफ पॉलिटिक्स इज मोबिलाइजेशन एंड द पॉलिटिशियन इन सम सेंस द पॉलिटिकल वर्कर बीइंग एम्बेडेड इन द सोसाइटी सो दैट इज एबल टू रिफ्लेक्ट द सोसाइटी एस्पिरेशन उस जमाने में कांग्रेस के पास तो रहा हो तो क्या सोसाइटी बदल गई है और वो बदलाव कांग्रेस समझ नहीं पाया है इसीलिए ये हालत है या कोई और कारण है जिससे वो दिस एम्बेडेडनेस वाज नॉट ट्रांसलेटेड टू द टॉप एज यू सेड जो आप कह रहे हैं कि मोदीज uh, information network workers information travels up to modi which processed then delivered is that channel is an issue within the party structure the structural issue of the party itself uh that's one aspect the second thing is when you were speaking i was struck by the tone of the discourse when you speak about religion and politics religion seems to be a relatively positive binding experience logo ko ek sath jodne ki ek uh, emotion hai uh, but in most of the discourse that we see around politics religion is seen as a divisive experience. and is that one of the reasons is it the case in your opinion that when the bjp uses religion at least within the broader majority community it somehow is able to present it at this sort of binding experience and versus the others where to jab log bolte hain religion बांटता है लोगों को लोग बोलते हैं ऐसी बात नहीं है इट इज नॉट समथिंग दैट इज दैट दे फाइंड इज वैलिडेटेड बाय देयर ओन पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस एंड देयर फॉर द रिजेक्ट दैट नोशन सो हाउ आई मीन इज दैट अ गुड वे ऑफ थिंकिंग अबाउट इट आप क्या सोचते हैं मैं बिल्कुल सही कह रहे हैं आप आई थिंक योर क्वेश्चन आल्सो कंटेंस आंसर और आंसर आई एम फुली एग्री विद द आंसर्स पोलिटिकल डिक्शन बहुत गहरा है वो क्या है कांग्रेस पहले आजादी की लड़ाई आजादी की लड़ाई की बात करती रही आजादी में हमारी भूमिका फिर हमने देश को ये दिया रिजर्वेशन दिया ये दिया वो दिया वो करती रही अभी जो सोसाइटी बदली है वो सोसाइटी दोनों पर ही विश्वास नहीं करती है आजादी की मेमोरी तो खत्म है बिकॉज वो एक जनरेशन जिसने आजादी देखी थी अब तो है नहीं तो दे कॉन्ट रिलेट विद सिंबल्स सेकेंडली रिजर्वेशन की कहानी भी बहुत पुरानी हो गई है बिकॉज दिस इज अगेन अगेन आई एम सेंग दिस इज न्यू लिबरल टाइम and we to understand the shift in the social psyche in the new liberal time and that is the the, the time which is the time of aspiration so ab isme bahut sari 
इवन कास्ट आइडेंटिटीज भी आर बीइंग डाइल्यूटेड अभी देखिए बड़ा इंटरेस्टिंग है ये जो वोट्स जो बीजेपी को जाते हैं बीजेपी ठीक है उसमें कास्ट सोशल इंजीनियरिंग भी दिखाई पड़ी गया बट ये जो बेनिफिशियरी कॉन्शियसनेस व्हिच हैज इवॉल्वड वो बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग है वो क्या है कांग्रेस हर स्टेट से ही बनाता है कांग्रेस ने भी बनाया था मनरेगा produced a huge beneficiary and that beneficiary worked also in one election but uh, what happened now wo unhone apne beneficiary ko follow up nahi kiya unko apne ek network mein badla bjp ke beneficiaries ka bajapta unke gharon mein jaake diwali manana mithai khana saath mein election ke samay door to door unko wo karna beneficiary conference karna so they converted them as a as a class as a community as a community aur wo ek khas kism ki consciousness hai jo pure desh mein badhti ja rahi hai to and that works beyond caste beyond religion even muslims hum log we were working in a field in a village uh, during election 2019 and we wintered in a in a muslim uh, habitat is a huge muslim village when we started entering तो सड़क के पास धनी मुसलमानों के घर थे इनके व्यापार थे दुकानें थी नहीं साहब समाजवादी समाजवादी साइकिल 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 यहाँ तो साइकिल ही है कोई है ही नहीं अब आप घूम के चले जाइए साइकिल है आप लिख दीजिए रिपोर्ट में क्या जगह साइकिल है वेन यू इंटर इन दिलेज एंड गो इन दुअर हैबिटेट्स ऑफ द मुस्लिम उसी के पीछे गरीबों के घर होते हैं सड़क के किनारे अमीरों के घर होते हैं पीछे गरीबों के घर होते हैं हम लोग बैठे बातचीत शुरू की चाय छोटी सी उसमें जो चाय और बिस्किट दो रुपये चार आने वाली बिस्किट जो भी चार आने में तो मिलती नहीं है दो हजार दो रुपए की बिस्किट हाँ वो बिस्किट खाने के बाद बातचीत शुरू हुई पहले का वो भी नहीं घुमाते सबसे यहाँ तो सब अखिलेश को देंगे हम लोग सब समाजवादी पार्टी रहेगा और क्या थोड़ी देर बाद जब ये स्टार्टेड ओपनिंग भैया देखिए बताइएगा मत किसी को हम लोग कमर को ही देंगे क्योंकि बताइएगा तो सब बहुत तंग करेंगे हम लोगों को जीने नहीं देंगे जो आगे वो लोग कमल को देंगे क्यों कहा ये देखिए ना कौन सोचता है हम लोगों के बारे में अब ये पांच किलो चावल आ रहा है ये तेल आ गया है नमक दे रहा है हमको और क्या चाहिए ग्रीप को तो अब ये इट वर्क बियॉन्ड कास्ट एंड कॉम्युनिटी तो ये सोसाइटी में शिफ्ट है बट कांग्रेस इस तरह नो ओबीसी कास्ट एंड पॉलिटिक्स करेंगे वो ये नहीं समझ रही है कि ओबीसी साइकी में कितना चेंज है और ये नहीं सोच रही है कि कास्ट सेंसेस कभी भी एक होमोजेनियस कम्युनिटी नहीं प्रोड्यूस कर पाता व्हेन इट स्टार्टेड फर्स्ट टाइम इन 1867 देयर वाज अ लॉट ऑफ फाइट्स वायलेंस इन सोसाइटी लॉट ऑफ एफआईआर अगेंस्ट इच अदर टू प्लेस इतिहास से अगर सीखते तो भी इसको पॉलिटिकल यूज नहीं करते बट दे कुंट लर्न फ्रॉम द हिस्ट्री तो परिणाम देख लिया ये तीन इलेक्शन में जो हो गया अब थोड़ा सा सबक मिला है तो अच्छा कांग्रेस में क्या चेंज हुआ कांग्रेस में जो लीडर्स पहले थे दे वर वेरी कनेक्टेड विद द पब्लिक नो इंदिरा गांधी वी वर्क अमंग द रिस्क एंड व्हेन एवर यू गो इन वी गो इन द विलेजेस दलित हैबिटेट पुराने लोग जो मिलते हैं अरे इंदिरा जी हमारे दादा के बारे में पूछती थी जब भी कोई दिल्ली जाता था हमारे दादा के बारे में पूछती थी वहां से फलाना जी अब हर आदमी की एक कहानी है इंदिरा जी को लेकर अब इंदिरा जी चंद्रशेखर वेरी पॉपुलर अमंग पब्लिक they had a, uh, they, uh, they understand pulse of the people logon ki chahte jante the access tha people used to come to given ram yahan jitne shasaram se log aate the sabke liye khana banta tha unke aawas mein hi park jo long tha usme aur sab unse milte the sab milke jate the dhoti dete the 500 rupaye dete the us samay aam chaap dhoti 500 rupaye logon ne apne ghar mein rakha hai wo wo cheeze to jo yun wo usme dete the so that kind of leadership structure which we have now we have akhilesh yadav now we have uh, rahul gandhi now we have uh, tejashwi so new shift ab ye new shift mostly they believe in this social media unko lagta hai ki 5 10 million like mil gaye to hamara politics safal ho gayi to so that kind of shift has happened in in this phase we need organization like rss or we need organization like bamse and we need organization like who can work as a feedback agency for, for the, the parties to the parties to people let's take one sorry
the public and the political party. Uh, we need to have a good. Uh, these uh, one here and one there, and then I have two questions. Sir, as I read your book, there was a story you told that the farmer was three sons and the fourth was invisible snake. So what did the farmer miss the other party? He didn't connect the farmer to the farmer. Like BJP, as I read in your book, the story of Eklavik is an anti-Brahmin. After that, he is a hero of the Nisad Samaj. तो उसको एक एक्सेप्टेंस मिल रही थी जो अपर कास्ट्स में वो चाह रहे थे जैसा बुक में भी कि वो एक एक्सेप्टेंस एक डिग्निटी चाहते थे तो अब जैसे पसमांदा जैसे आपने मुस्लिम्स की बात की तो अभी पसमांदा मुस्लिम्स का चल रहा है तो तीन कैटेगरी है अशराफ अरजाल और तो अब जो नेक्स्ट अब जो अपने चीजें हैं जो उसको नहीं देख पा रही है जो उसका नुकसान आगे जाके फिर उनको हो सकता है और बीजेपी उसका फायदा उठा सकती है या उनको भी वो मोबिलाइज कर सकती है जैसे मैंने आपकी बुक में सफरनाइजेशन ऑफ़ द एंड मोबिलाइजेशन ऑफ़ द दलित में था तो क्या पसमांदा की तरफ उनका अगला वो है एक और Sir, as you said that you gave the example of BJP or the RSS giving money to construct a temple for the marginalized community. So suppose if some other party is wanting to tap into this potential group, what should be their strategy? Because Congress, when they want to do it, it's a soft hand. It's a criticism for it. You cannot win this battle. You cannot be a better Modi than Modi. So how do they balance that? If if Congress or let's say any party wants to uh, get into this, so they can tap in. Okay. I think that if Mandir Banadene is a Congress or anyone can't intervene. The first thing is trust build up. And trust build up is not a BJP or Modi or Sun Kiko. पहले उनका एक ट्रस्ट बना हुआ है उनके साथ, because community connects इसको कहते हैं ना, वो first of all develop, which Congress और any political party should do, but Congress क्या करती है, अगर वो मंदिर भी बनवाएगी, तो एक वहाँ का local बड़ा leader जाके पांच लाख रुपए दे देगा, अगर हमने दे दिया, उसका फायदा Congress को नहीं होगा, उसका फायदा उस नेता को होगा, जिस नेता ने पांच लाख रुपए दिया, मंदिर बन गया था बुनेर कंचन झांसी में रानी करता झांसी की रानी के किले के नीचे तो बीएसपी ने दिया था दो लाख रुपए मायावती ने नहीं दिया था but that function was not on the name of मायावती that was on the name of the BSP local BSP ने उनको दो लाख रुपए चंदा कलेक्ट करके दिया चंदा कलेक्ट करना is very important कांशीराम दो दो रुपए लेते थे ऐसा नहीं था कि वो पांच करोड़ नहीं कमा सकते थे but two or two rupees were taken, they were asked for a lot of people, they were asked for a lot of people, and they were asked for a symbolically used to cultivate money for this kind of support. RSS does in the same way. As RSS is the same way, they are asked for a lot of food from the house, and they are asked for a lot of food, and they are asked for a lot of food. Not from one family, entire village. तो कांशीराम को एक बार एक गांव में he used to do night प्रवास प्रवास से आरएसएस के टर्म में जो रात बिताते थे वो रात में ठहरते थे किसी गांव में तो गांव में ठहरते थे तो एक मुस्लिम चमास जिस वाले सार बिटर ऑफ इन द विलेजेस तो वो उनके घर का खाना नहीं देते थे कहते थे कि सारे जो जितनी दलित बस्ती में जितनी फिर वो बनते थे और करीब 25-30 लोगों का ग्रुप होता था उन लोगों को खाना खिलाया जाता था तो दैट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ़ ऑल यू हैव टू मीट यू नीड टू क्रिएट कनेक्ट विद द पब्लिक एंड आल्सो इवॉल्व ट्रस्ट ट्रस्ट मतलब गिविंग पार्टिसिपेशन टू ईच एंड एवरीवन इन दैट प्रोसेस ये कांग्रेस के दूसरा ये है कि जब आपने टेंपल बना दिया तो आपका रोल यहाँ खत्म नहीं हो जाता है उसके बाद से आपने सेकंड रोल 
शुरू होता है कम्युनिटी के साथ वो होता है उसके एम्पावरमेंट के जो अदर प्रोसेस है उसमें उनको सपोर्ट करना यानी आर एस एस ने सिर्फ इतना ही करके वो नहीं छोड़ देगी साथ में वहां से वो अपनी कहानी शुरू करेगी उस कहानी को फिर वो स्वच्छता अभियान फिर वहां पर स्कूल फिर वहां पर स्वास्थ्य के लिए कोई आसपास कैंप करवाएगी कोई तो इस इज लॉन्ग प्रोसेस टू विच दे कल्टिवेट देर सपोर्ट तो ये मुझे पता नहीं क्यों ऐसा है इंडियन पॉलिटिक्स में कि अदर पार्टीज आर आई दर नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड और समझती हैं तो समझना नहीं चाहती हैं और समझना चाहती हैं तो उल्टा नहीं करना चाहती हैं तो ये समझ में नहीं आता जैसे इवन जस्ट टू गिव यू एन एग्जांपल जब ये स्टैचू ऑफ लिबर्टी के लिए 2014 में पूरा कैंपेन था हर व्यक्ति थोड़ा थोड़ा लोहा देगा सो व्हाट प्रोफेसर इज एक्चुअली सेइंग दैट यू हैव टू इन्वॉल्व पब्लिक एट लार्ज इन एनी काइंड ऑफ पॉलिटिकल मोबिलाइजेशन यस मैम यू हैड अ क्वेश्चन अभी हम आज पढ़ सकते your analysis is largely based on northern india and up and yet you're drawing a india wide analysis from it but if if what the bjp has been able and rss and bsp has been able to tap into is a nationwide phenomena then why has it not been able to do so in southern india i.e. If, if we're really living in the second phase of liberalism surely people in southern india have the same aspirations people in the northeast have the same aspirations and yet all four southern states of india do not have not voted in a bjp government so is this something that um bjp and bsp the identity politics have been mobilized particularly in a particular way in northern india of course some northeastern states nagaland etc don't have a majority hindu population uh but the southern states do hmm. and they have not been able so if it's a nationwide phenomena then why yeah. why is it not nationwide i think it's a very good question and uh, difficult question to uh, respond but i try to respond to the question actually uh, see aspirations uh, equally emerge in south and in india also mm -hmm. but the expression of the, the the emergence of the aspirations channels are different different bjp as a channel uh, to represent the good aspirations could succeeded well in south india because they are not able to grasp the cultural language of south india with the way they have a mastery on the understanding of the part of india okay. or or maharashtra in, in in certain ways they don't have uh, that kind of mastery in uh, understanding the like tamil nadu tamil nadu is a very uh, different case no mm. very difficult to understand their cultural configurations their religious aspirations uh karnataka they succeeded such uh, in last elections and uh they may succeed in the coming elections one day but wo to because there is a that kind of hinduization uh streams are important uh, powerful in karnataka because wahan obc uh, the, the karnataka politics is led by obc and obc uh in that way they are they have a influence by the hindutva so in the two argument and the, the symbols works there better than the other southern indian states but uh, uh, andhra pradesh again a very complex state uh, very difficult to create one homogeneous language in which all are being represented uh, dalit identity even the tra trajectory of making dalit identities are different in those non brahmin movements uh in the dalit movements in in uh, maharashtra in andhra pradesh entirely different the way it took place in mars in uh, uttar pradesh and punjab and other part of uh, this part of india so uh, bjp is still you are right is failing to understand this cultural diction and the religious diction and transforming them in the political language the way they have done here because the 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 they are they have a uh, long history uh, we uh, 
they, they already had spent long time to uh, work in these areas, understanding its culture, politics, its uh, uh, sanskaras, the everyday life of the public. So maybe uh, BJP, uh, and, and that also depend on the strength of the RSS. Mm. How RSS is working in those areas? What is their uh, strength there? Like in uh, Tamil Nadu, I don't see very vibrant RSS presence there. So feedback agency is weaker in those areas. And not only feedback agency, they prepare ground, you know, mm. entire, entire climate, entire uh, ecosystem in which BJP politics may work. Uh, uh, so, you have to prepare yeah. the ground. Yeah. Uh, they prepare ground, then your helicopter can come. Mm. So, uh, Karnatak may the RSS is stronger. Mm. Uh, uh, so, maybe in future, yeah. uh, they will evolve, they will change uh, their language, or they will recreate their language. Uh, the Modi is trying to do, uh, in uh, Modi means not Modi, in BJP. Uh, Kashi Tamil Sangam. Sangam. You must have heard about Kashi Tamil Sangam. They have started organizing, linking Northern Indian religious memories with the Tamil Nadu religious memory and trying to breathe, build a language. Mm. Uh, so the efforts are going on, experiments are going on, but we can't say how much it is going to succeed because even then, uh, uh, Tamil Nadu is a complex state in terms of making of the religious memories. Uh, although OBCs are leading the Dina Mats of Eki, uh, Tamil Nadu, mostly uh, OBC saints are there, Mats are in their, their control. And there are also political yeah, factors political at, factors, uh, at yes. play, right? So party systems uh, also party play a role. Systems, yes, so, so, so it will take time. So his question. Uh -huh. so, uh, yes, uh, though, uh, this snake is true, you know, the snake. Yes, uh, that is snake, which is no... Clear, which is not visible, but it has its own share. The political parties are not looking uh, successful in, 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 in knowing about that snake, which is not visible, but it has its own share. And BJP is in that way smarter in, in assessing that snake. The snakes means the uh, uh, snakes means the politics of the individuals. Yeah. There are various communities which are invisibles. We even, we even don't know about them if they exist in this. Uh, mm. And like uh, when I asked to a uh, IS officer in mm. Labar uh, about Musars, is there any Musar Basti around your uh, this area? He said, no, no, Musars to hotel nahi hai. Yeah. There is no Musars in this entire area. Or uske, there was a, just after 10 uh, kilometers from his Bangla, there was a huge Musar Basti in that area. Because he knows that there is a SC, but he was not knowing there is a Muslim. Musha. Because they work in... So there are various communities, Hari. There are 66 there is communities in Sin UP. If I ask from you, who is in Uttar Pradesh? How many people you remember the name of Dalit Jatiyo? Tell me. You're a good one. This is a good one. But anyway, tell me, how many Dalit Jatiyo are the name of Dalit Jatiyo? Pahar. 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 But uh, whenever I go anywhere, I use uh, raise this question. BHU, Hyderabad University, JNU, I was because I taught there. Four five se jada no one was known. They know only four or five castes. In Uttar Pradesh, we have 66 Dalit community. Bihar, we have 22 Dalit community. In, in Andhra Pradesh, we have 55 Dalit communities. Everywhere, you have a long list of Dalit. Yeah. But we know only four or five because they are visible. They are, they are visible large. because of various reasons. Mm. And most of them are invisible. And democracy has to reach with them. This is that's why the democracy which we have today is is a half democracy. And even Usiri come. This is not the full democracy. So so democracy. That's why I I I, I used to say that uh, I used to take this uh, word given by Derrida. Democracy has to come. You know, De democracy to come, mm. still to come, mm. and 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 for that. 
we need to have politics of the future. And uh, uh, my analysis is that Narendra Modi is, uh, I don't know how and why, but he is very conscious about politics. Uh, yes, uh, he's in conflicting politics of the future. Um, so let me ask you the last question and then close. Lady uh, Ikmita. Yes, uh, you know, the, the Muslims' outreach of the BJP is going to grow, and Pasmanda would be one of the big targets for them. You must remember his lecture in Bhopal, Kamlavati uh, inauguration of uh, this uh, uh, station. He gave, he he uh, used uh, names of all the Pasmanda caste in one of his lectures. Hum logo to yaad nahi hoga, but abo rakhe to honge nahi, padha hoga, jaise bhi hoga. But he he mentioned all the caste and communities of the Rang Rang Rej, no, wo bahut hambi hambi bhi nahi yaad hai. Bahut saari ka jatiyon ke naam unhone liye the. So uh, they are uh, uh, working on that line. So that the next outreach of the Muslim community will begin from the Basmanda because do, do they know the elite of the Ashraf of the Muslim or Ashrafs who do Dutch or do uh, Muslim politics, they are mostly uh, uh, facilitated towards the politics of Samajwadi Party and the Congress, the traditional elite of the Muslims. So they will create their niche among Basmandas and also Arjal. So just to sort of conclude this conversation, and especially there are a couple of questions from Zoom, which is, and, and the, your focus of uh, the conversation has been how marginalized communities are looking forward, looking towards this politics of aspiration and dignity through religion. Uh, so the question that uh, uh, two people have at least asked is, what is the sort of like relevance or role of Ambedkar in the Dalit consciousness going to be in future. Because if, like in their sort of like reading, uh, Ambedkar has a very empty religion uh, uh, sort of like stance. And if the like young Dalit boys uh, or women you are talking about who are aspiring to be included into this uh, sort of like religious fold, then are they going to have a very different reading of Ambedkar? Or... Uh, like because contradictions can coexist in mind, or Ambedkar's relevance uh, in future will not have the same place as it had in time of Kanshidam or Mayavati, and a very different sort of like narrative or, or symbol would emerge for Dalits. Uh, uh, Rahul, I think uh, uh, Ambedkar is uh, my system is that uh, Ambedkar. Uh, will always remain a very powerful symbol in the mm. society because he's the symbol of, uh, of modernity, uh, empowerment, participation, many things. But uh, his meaning may be changed time to time. The way Kanshi Ram recreated Ambedkarite text or Ambedkarite readings, messages for the UP politics, also the Northern Indian politics is entirely different. Uh, they say that Kanshiram Ambedkar collected books. Mm. I collect collected people. Mm. So to collect people, whatever changes you need to do, you have to do. And he did. You know, this entire politics of the icons, politics of the DTs, politics of creating long-term memories. These are all new things in that politics, which he invented and implemented. Uh, my reading is that due to the emergence of these aspirations mm. and the new liberal move of our society, we, uh, we create a new meaning of Ambedkar. Ambedkar would be there as mm -hmm. a symbol, mm -hmm. okay. but okay. people will reinterpret his message meaning and, and explore various ways to move. ट <laughs> Like uh, Sanshan Kitroda, maybe uh, today is a matter of love for me, but, yeah. but maybe after 20 years, he may emerge as a symbol. symbols of the OBC roots who goes to America. 
फॉर वॉकिंग इन द आई चीज तो उनके लिए अगर वो पता चलेगा कि सेंट पिपलता इज ओबीसी तो दे मे रिलेट देयर ऐसा हो भी सकता है हां बट दे मे व्हेनेवर दे विल रिलेट दे विल नॉट रिलेट एज अ कास्ट बट एज अ काइक ऑन ऑफ द हां पर व्हाट यू आर आल्सो सेइंग इन सम वेज दैट द there is a lot of effort that is involved in symbol construction you can't just put the face and say now this is your symbol right you have to create an entire history entire narrative and everything for those symbol to be able to become attractive uh, for general purposes so thank you so much for this very very enlightening uh, conversation and especially for someone like me uh, who works a lot on sort of like survey data and numbers and opinion uh, uh, sort of like polls this is sort of like what you are uh, uh, bringing to the table is a very very different aspect of how to read uh, indian population and i think uh, any sort of like study of indian citizens should be able to merge these two or three traditions of study uh, indian voters so thank you everyone for being here and those who are uh joined us on zoom uh our next sort of like conversation is going to be on 18th and then the other one on 25th of january details would be shared soon uh thank you again for coming